Hello Internet! Today on the How to Bake Chronicles we are going to be doing soda bread. Um, soda bread is a bread that is made without the help of yeast. It's made with baking soda or a bicarbonate of soda if you are British. Let's go ahead and get started. This recipe is incredibly quick so this is going to be a pretty short video. Alright, let's get going. Okay, first for ingredients, um, you're going to need 500 grams of all-purpose flour. I've got that in a bowl here. Um, you need one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt, 400 milliliters of buttermilk. Um, the buttermilk and the baking soda are going to chemically react the acid in the buttermilk and the baking soda will make this bread leaven. Um, I've got my oven preheating to 390 Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius. I've got a baking tray ready to go lined with parchment. Like I said, this is a really, really quick recipe. So everything has to be done in pretty quick succession. Go ahead and get everything ready and then get started. So first you're going to put all your dry ingredients in your bowl. So I've got my salt and my baking powder or my baking soda. For this I'm going to go ahead and use a wooden spoon just because I think it's going to be pretty sticky and it'll be a little bit easier for me to work with. You can also probably use a whisk for this. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to mix all of your dry ingredients really well before you put your buttermilk in. I've never personally made soda bread, but it is loved the world over. A lot of people use it as just a really quick way to enjoy bread with a meal. And then I'm going to take my buttermilk and I'm just going to pour it right in. And then I'm going to stir it all up. Okay, and we have come up with a pretty sticky dough. So then I'm going to flour my surface lightly so I can put the dough on it. I'm just going to get the dough with this spoon. We're going to tip the dough out onto the floured work surface. Um, and then we're just going to really quickly work it into a little bit of a ball. This is a super sticky dough. Okay, so there's our ball and then it says to just flatten it a little bit with your hands. So there we go. And then we're going to take this over to our baking tray. Okay, so I've got my bread on my baking tray. Um, and then using a knife, I'm just going to cut it deeply through the bread, almost but not quite through to the base. Okay, so we are scored. And then you're going to dust it with a little flour. Alright, and then my oven is ready to go, so we're going to bake this for 30 minutes or until the loaf is completely cooked through. It should be golden brown, and then it should sound hollow when you tap it on the base. Alright, our loaf just came out of the oven. It smells fantastic. It definitely has a biscuit scent to it. I'm very excited to try it. So we're nice and golden brown. I'm still cooling on a wire rack because it's very, very hot. It just came out of the oven. But when we tip it over, it sounds nice and hollow on the base and it's nice and golden. Um, it did end up taking a little bit longer than what the book said it would take, but that's okay. We want everything to come out correctly. Um, so I'm going to cut into this bad boy. I definitely don't recommend breaking into bread this early as it comes out of the oven, but this is for the purposes of the video. So I think we are okay to break just a couple of those. Ooh, we are steamy. That looks so good. It's definitely baked all the way through. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of salted butter on this and we're gonna give it a try. Okay, let's try it out. Mm. It's so good, it's so fluffy. Um, it's dense but light at the same time. Uh, it's definitely like a biscuit. It is biscuit in loaf form. 
Um, it's absolutely delicious though with butter. Um, I think it would be really good with like jam. I think some people would really like to eat it with like a stew or something. So highly recommend. And I think we did the thing. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, don't forget to give me a like and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. I hope you all have a fantastic day.